part 57. What volume of a 0.2089 molarity potassium iodide Ki solution contains enough Ki to react exactly with copper 2 nitrate, which is CuNO32, in 43.88 milliliters of a 0.3842 molarity solution of the copper 2 nitrate? Okay. Well, first thing that I notice is that they gave us a equation. So I'm going to just rewrite this much bigger. So in this equation, it looks like the copper uh, two nitrate, which is CuNO32, is being reacted with the potassium iodide, Ki, and we will be getting out two copper one iodides. So CuI, we get iodine solid, and then we get four potassium nitrates. Okay. Now, automatically I see that there, oh, didn't catch that, didn't catch that one thing. Let's see if I could get it. There we go. Okay. So right off the bat, I see that there are coefficients in the front of this equation, right? There's a two over here. There's a four, there's a two, and there's a four, right? Remember, if there's no number in front, that means that you have one of these. So in this case, you would have one I2. But if I see coefficients, right, the two, the four, the two, and the four, chances are this equation is going to be balanced. If you want, you could pause the video and just make sure that it's balanced. But I'm going to say that since I see coefficients, this is going to be a already balanced for you. So you don't have to do anything there. The second thing that we like to do when we're doing stoichiometry problems is I just like to write what the question is and what the information that they gave us in the question, right? So the, they told us that we had 0 0.2089 molarity of Ki. So right underneath Ki, I'm going to say that I have 0 0.2089 molarity, right? And the question is saying, what volume? So the question, you know, they're asking for a volume here and it's of the same compound. So underneath here, I'm just going to say, okay, we're looking for the volume. So they gave me a molarity and I have to look for a volume. Now they gave me some other numbers, right? They told me that I had 43.88 mils of a 0 0.3842 molarity solution of copper two nitrate. So here's copper two nitrate. I'm going to list everything that we have down here. I have a molarity for this guy, 0.3842 molarity, and I have a volume, right? Mills is a volume for the copper two nitrate. So I'm going to say that this, I have this. Okay. So we know that we're doing stoichiometry here because I have more information of one compound right? I have two pieces of information for the copper two nitrate, and I'm trying to solve for something else of a different compound. Now we have to use our heads here, guys, right? How am I going to get the volume of potassium iodide? Well, they gave me a molarity. I'm looking for a volume. I'm thinking of any molarity formulas I know. And yeah, there is one formula, right? The big molarity formula. Molarity equals moles divided by liters. They told us that I had 0.2089 molarity. So I already know this number, 0.2089 molarity. And I'm searching for the volume, which is liters, right? Liters is a volume. So this I know has to be X. So if I'm saying that this is X, I should know the molarity and I should know the moles. So What's missing here, guys? Yeah, I have to find out what that mole value is. So secretly, we first have to find out the moles of Ki, and then I can find the volume. Hmm, how am I going to do that? Ah, that's what I'm going to use this information. Now, looky here. In this case, we have a molarity. We have a volume. In this case, they told us it was milliliters. So we have a molarity. We have a volume. We can find out the moles of this. So that's the first step that we're going to have to do. So the first step is find the moles of the CuNO32, right? Now, let's go for it. 
The first thing is I'm going to have to convert this mills into liters, right? You can take this number and just divide it by 1000, right? Anytime we're going from mills to liters, you're always just dividing by 1000, or you can just take the decimal place and move it to the left three times and fill in the zeros. So this is the same thing as 0 0.04388, and then let me just pull this back, liters. Okay. I don't know what my dog is barking at. Eh. <laughs> but the show must go on. Okay, so now we have molarity, we have liters. Let's do this formula to solve for the moles that I have here, right? So... Let's just say molarity equals moles divided by liters. If I rearrange this formula to get to moles, or you could use this formula, right? Just for simplicity's sake, I know that moles equals molarity times liter, right? So here we go. Moles equal the 0 0.3842. And I don't have to put my units because... I already know that the numbers are correct, like the units are correct. So just to make it, you know, less intimidating, I just leave them out. And then this being multiplied by 0 0.04388. Okay, let's see how many moles I have of the copper two nitrate. So let's get out your calcies and let's see what we get. 0 0.3842 times 0 0.04388. And I have 0 0.1, no, 0 0.0168, we'll say 0 0.016859, okay. And that's the moles of the copper two nitrate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to say, okay, I'm just going to add this down here. So I now know that I have 0 0.016859 moles. Now pause the video if you want to, but I'm going to erase this because there's more math that we have to do. So let me just get rid of this. Perfect. Okay. Now I have the information I need to go from one um, compound to another compound via a balanced equation. And remember, this is all stoichiometry, right? We go back to our little flow diagram of this, right? It's the grams to moles to moles to gram type of idea. However, we always just cater it to what we have. In this case, remember the red is the starting material, which is the one that you have more information of. And the blues are what you're trying to solve for. That's why I color coded this as all this in red and all this in blue. But in this case, you see how we're starting off with moles already. I have the mole value, which is over here. Do I need this gram number? No. So I'm just going to cater it to what we need. We don't need the first part. We're already starting off with 0 0.016859 moles of, and if I pull this a little back, I'm going to say not A, A was generic. This was CuNO32. Then I can go to moles of the compound that I want. In this case, it's Ki, right? Now, remember what we said before, guys, we just need the moles of potassium iodide, right? Maybe I'll put that in blue. Moles also equals question mark. So do we have to go to grams of Ki? No. So all we have to do is just go from moles of the one thing to moles of the other compound. So this is just a one stepper for this part. Start with what you're given, 0 0.016859. And now that's moles of Cu NO32, you don't want this unit. So remember, we just make a ratio, multiply by the ratio, put that unit on the bottom. Moles of the CuNO32 goes on the bottom. And the unit that you want goes on the top. Moles of Ki goes on the top. 
And now, if you have a mole-to-mole conversion of two different compounds, two different compounds, one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator, you use your balanced equation. This is just your balanced equation. So I'll say like BE, balanced equation. And all you're doing is using the coefficients. So you only have to look for Ki, and you only have to look for CuNO32. In this case, Ki is over here on my balanced equation. The number is 4. There's 4 Ki's in this balanced equation. So how many moles of Ki? 4. And then here is the copper 2 nitrate. What's the coefficient in front of there? Oh, it's a 2. So 2 goes on the bottom. Then you cancel out the units that you can cancel out. And if we wanted to simplify this, right, 4 divided by 2 is just timesing by 2. So I can just take that number, 0 0.016859, and times it by 2. So I get 0 0.033718, and that's moles of Ki. Perfect. So now we know the, no the moles, right? I know that this number is 0 0.033718. And now, going back to this, I now have that mole number, 0.033718 moles. Now you see I could just solve for the liters? Yeah, right? If we wanted to just rearrange this formula, I mean, you could plug in the numbers into this formula, that's fine with me, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to put it over here. I'm going to say that liters equals molarity times moles. So my liters equal my molarity, which is what they told me, right? Which is the 0 0.2089. And once again, I don't put units because I know I have the right units. And then times by the moles, 0 0.033718. So whatever that is. So point... 2089 times the answer before. And now I'm going to see how many sig figs I have. In each of the numbers that were given to me, there's a total of four sig figs in each number. So technically, if you wanted to do sig figs, you have to include four sig figs here. So I'm just going to say 7.044 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, negative 3. Now, they didn't specify whether they wanted this in mils or in liters, so just, you know, convert if you need to, but this is the liters amount. So you need 7.044 times 10 to the negative 3 liters of this solution, this potassium iodide solution, to react exactly with the copper 2 nitrate. If you wanted to, you know, put that number into mils, all, remember, all you got to do is just times by 1,000. So it would be roughly like 7.044 7 milliliters. All right? But that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. I thank you so much for that. We just hit 10,000. It's so awesome. Thank you so much for all of your support. You guys have been great. Let's keep learning. Let's keep moving forward. And good luck on all your tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. You guys rock. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.